All right, guys, so I'm 90% sure that we bagged the clients. Um, I did an outreach on Instagram. It was a cold outreach. Uh, booked an appointment, immediately went to go grab coffee. We were both down. Good morning, Freedom Frameworks. Uh, so today is day three. I actually just booked an appointment right now with a construction company. I am going to meet the uh, owner uh, at noon at Phil's Coffee today. So that's been pretty cool. Uh, he is uh, not as big as I want to work with, but regardless, you know, um, right now I'm, I'm in learning mode, information gathering mode. Um, you know, I don't, I don't know, we'll see. Like, does he have budget for what I'm trying to sell? Or maybe should I not forget about budget and think about long term? You know, if I, if I get in with him now, and help him grow. Is he going to be a client that I'm going to have for life? I don't know. You know, I I, I have no idea yet how this works. I mean, his, his you know his branding looks like way more on point than uh, <laughs> some guys who've even been in business uh, you know for years. Actually, what's funny is yesterday uh, I was grabbing a burrito for lunch uh, or dinner. I guess before we before we head to the before we headed to the cigar lounge yesterday. And uh, I saw these guys, like two really beautiful work trucks. I think they were like uh, Chevy Silverados or I don't know, something like that. <laughs> but uh, super beautiful work trucks, you know, they were branded. Both of the guys had t-shirts on and I rolled up on them and I was like, hey, uh, saw your guys' trucks, what kind of construction do you guys do? They told me they do multifamily. It's actually a company called uh, VCS Construction out of Aptos. and. Uh, they said like one of them was the owner and they pretty much just, you know, blew me off. Hey, we, you know, they were telling us like, yeah, we don't want to grow. We want to downsize and uh, we're, we're not looking to add more marketing or anything like that. And what was, um, it's cool because that, that, you know, I'm sure that they're not going to be the only people who have like that objection. Like, no, we don't want marketing because we want to downsize. And if, you know, if you go look at their website, they're literally like literally no marketing. Right. So after that, I'm like, I started thinking like, okay, well, what would have been a good, like, um, you know, what would have been a good response to that objection? I don't need marketing because I don't want to grow. Actually, I'm downsizing. And regardless of whether or not the objection would actually work, right? Uh, I, I just started thinking of like, what could I say in that moment? And I started thinking like, okay, well, maybe I could say, Hey, I completely understand that you're, you know, you, you guys are not looking to grow. You're actually looking to downsize. That's not a problem. Um, if we actually create your portfolio as you guys downsize, um, you know, cause you still want to work, but creating a portfolio will help you get more of the work that you guys actually want. Right. Um, and that's just the, the objection that I, or the response to the objection that I thought about. But regardless though, um, another thought that came to mind was like, you know, these guys, these construction guys, they're, you know, they're a different breed of, of human, right? Like these are not, you know, office um, etiquette kind of guys. I kind of, I kind of felt like, uh, you know, taking another approach with them and being like, for example, they say, hey, I don't want marketing. I kind of felt like being like, you know, after like I've tried to overcome the objection a couple of times. You know, saying something like, well, damn, man, you guys are fucking loaded. So it sounds like I should probably get a job with you guys. You got a T-shirt? Can I just join the team now? Because, dude, I, I want to be a part of a company that doesn't need any more work, man. I, I got bills to pay, you know. And I was thinking about maybe taking more of, like, that approach and seeing if uh, if that would connect better with those guys. But, you know. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happen. What's happening? So that that's just pretty much the update. So so far, one appointment. Um, I launched the website yesterday. Uh, just the coming soon page. I really, you know, it's always easier to work on other people's portfolio pages versus your own and your own website. That's one thing I've noticed about business. It's always easier to work on somebody else's rather than your own. Um, let's see here. Today I have. Uh, Okay, not not really much going on today. After work, uh, after the full time job, I have a um, podcast. Interesting. Uh, no, I don't have a podcast. We're we're gonna go check out uh, a luxury apartment downtown San Jose. Uh, it's this building that I've been wanting to live in for a while. Um, we, we currently live inside of a townhouse right now, and I just want to 
live somewhere inspiring. So we're going to go check that out. But besides that, probably after that, I'm, I'm going to go back to work again. Um, and I'll probably be working through midnight tonight. And I'll, I'll just keep you guys updated. Again, uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. And I'm just, it's very raw. No, really no editing. I'm just giving you guys like the steps that I'm going through um, and hoping that what I do can work for you or if you're somebody who's behind me and you're just entertained by this please give me guidance um, so yeah I'll check in with you guys later all right guys so I'm 90% sure that we bagged the clients um, I did an outreach on Instagram it was a cold outreach uh, booked an appointment immediately went to go grab coffee we were both down same day, uh, levers the credibility that I got from all the stuff that I did working at the job that I have. And I am 90% sure that we got a new client. So this guy, he's a brand new contractor. And the thing about him being a, a brand new GC or at least licensed is that he's not new to construction. <clears throat> he's not new to construction. He's, uh, he's actually been in the industry for uh, over two decades and he's just newer to having a GC license so um, in terms of pricing I uh, quoted him uh, $15,000 for the project to get started he's not really too concerned about the overall price he's more concerned about having to pay the full thing up front is like where his mind's at so obviously for me, um, I don't really care about collecting 15K up front. I really just want people to have the mindset to like put in the commitment because if they're going to pay us 15K uh, for, you know, for our branding, website, logo, all that stuff, that means that this person's committed and that means that they're going to be a really good client long term. Uh, again, is he like the ideal client? Not really. The ideal client is going to be somebody who is already banging out the work <clears throat> they've already done the work to um they've, they've already done the work and they're already big they have employees they're cranking so this one's going to be interesting because we're catching him at the beginning of the cycle of him actually starting his business so we'll see um right now i am uh downtown so i've been wanting to check out this building for a while it's called one south we uh we live in a townhouse right now and i'm not really digging the townhouse life the th living in a three-story townhouse kind of sucks so waiting for lolo we have an appointment at 5 30 here but in the meantime so i'm pretty sure we bagged that client um now what else, what else did we do today man uh not too much on the uh on the agency side um something that i did do that was really helpful is because we have a go high level subscription i'm not really a fan of their templates but what i did do that worked was before we got there i literally opened up a template and put his logo on the top and on the bottom his current logo and i sent him <clears throat> i didn't send it to him but while we were talking i was like hey look this is like what your website would look like on a template website um literally told him i'm like look this this website i could give it to you for free i don't give a shit. you just have to give me the content and i'll fill it in uh, but that's not what we're trying to do. I was really like trying to help him understand, like, look, you are a contractor, somebody with two decades of experience. And the difference between having a truly banging online presence and not having one is this. And I, and I was trying to break it down, came to me in that moment. So if you have two guys that are equally as good looking, they're very good looking dudes. They both got the gift to gab. You know, they're both like everything that a woman wants. And one person or one guy is, you know, sitting next to a, uh, just, you know, Honda Civic and another person and the other guy sitting next to a Ferrari, that's a BMW over there, but you get the idea. Who is the girl who is the girl who's looking at both of these guys who she's attracted to both of them equally loves how both of them talk how both of them dress loves everything about them she would choose both of the, she would choose both of them any day but on this particular day one was standing next to a honda and one was standing next to a ferrari i think most girls would go with the guy with the ferrari so image is extremely important when we're talking about company branding when we're talking about getting these big deals because when these guys are closing construction deals 
you know, th these are not like, you know, little deals, right? Like a lot of these guys are making, you know, 20% uh, give or take on a deal. So if, if, if they're bidding a $2 million project, for example, that's like $400,000 for project management uh, for that, for the project management of that company. Uh, one other insight that I did get that I was kind of thinking about today as I was talking to him is probably the type of guys that I want to go after. Um, these are going to be guys that really value project management. So I think when you're looking at construction guys, there's the guys who are like really in the field doing the work or they're, you know, very accustomed to being in the trenches. Uh, and then there's the guys who are the project management dudes who, you know, they, they understand how to get the vision of the plan going. They understand how to lead, they understand how to manage, and they value software, things like that. And I, and I actually think that ultimately those are gonna be the guys who we're gonna go after. But again, we'll see. Um, we're barely on day three. Obviously, we started a few days before I started vlogging. But hopefully, you guys are finding this content valuable. Hopefully, somebody is out there learning from my mistakes or learning as I learn. And I really hope that somebody is watching this saying like, dude, you're an idiot. Stop doing that. Do this instead. And it gives me a shortcut. But regardless though, guys, this is day three to a seven figure agency. Building it with virtual assistants. Oh, I'll talk to you guys about that other part later. I'll show you some of the apartment stuff, but this, this building's downtown San Jose. Pretty dope. All right, got Lolo and the baby. Mm -hmm. Go check this place out. What's up? The Coleman one too sometimes gets tapped, but overall it's pretty it's pretty empty. Oh, right. I mean I keep my car there. See that's the other reason I'm like I he just started daycare this week. Because uh -huh. before I'm like I have him with me all the time and I don't oh, want to yeah. try to take him in the nail yeah. shop. Yeah, we're trying. I should get a key fob for your key, um, and this will get you into Pretty much everywhere, the swimming pool, the pod, uh, the spot, enter into your, um, into downstairs. Mm -hmm. um, the only difference is when you use it here, you put it in and then you're gonna turn it. So you uh, the right. key. Everywhere else you're just putting it in, it lights up through. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Right. Okay, see this walkway already looks bigger than... Than in the video? Yeah. Yeah. This one is pretty spacious. You have your um, coat closet here, which is super big. Uh, oh, I think you said earlier it was the window, the window in, the, in the room. Oh, this is a guest room, or yeah. th this would be a guest room. So yeah, we need the two main rooms and the other one. So the yeah. two main rooms have windows. Yeah, this is the guest room that would have no windows. Is that what you're thinking about? Yeah, go ahead. Like, oh, there's. Do does every three bedroom unit have these pillars? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So the three bedrooms, this stack um, above us and then below us, it's. This is a standard. Okay, so you've been in 360, right? Yeah. So you see they have like the round one. That's yeah. the exact same thing. It's really just holding the building up. The oh. difference is that in the 360, it's a round pillar. So it's a okay. perspective, mm -hmm. right? Yep, yep. that's actually a good thing. Okay. All right, guys, so um, I think so far it's been a pretty good day. We got to do that uh, apartment tour. I can tell you, man, those views are very inspiring. Um, we, cu we currently live, like, in a nice place, though, but um, I think for us, like, the next move is going to be being inside of a luxury building. The townhouse where we're at, it needs a little bit more maintenance than, uh, you know, an apartment that's pretty much ready for you. So, um, <clears throat> so yeah, guys, so that's, that's pretty much... Um, you know, for the day, right? Like, uh, I think I think it was a pretty good day. I'm gonna continue doing. Uh, I'll probably do at least like minimum like ten more outreaches today, and uh, we'll we'll see we'll see where that takes us. Uh, there, there's still like a bunch of like little mini tasks that I have to do. Um, I'm probably gonna start the design for the pitch deck. I need to uh, probably finish at least like one page layout for the website. Um, but <clears throat> everything slowly but surely. And you know, I know uh, when you're typically building out a new business. Um, the people by the 
entrepreneur. Like they don't buy the product. They're typically buying the relationship with the person. And right now that's really like what I'm leveraging is I am, uh, I'm really relying super heavily on trying to sell what I'm going to do and pretty much letting like the first couple clients know like, hey, like we're gonna take extra special care of you if you buy into this vision that we are going to be putting together, right? So, um, you know, now it's it's really just like execute, execute, execute. Uh, the guy who I talked to today, he wants a proposal. Um, he said no rush on it, but for me, I'm, I'm gonna try to get it done and get it sent out ASAP. Uh, we also need to put together a freaking pricing list for the media, uh, which I'm probably gonna call my business partner, Brendan, for my outsource plug business partner, Brendan, and get, get some advice from him um, for that specific part. But um, yeah, guys, I think, <laughs> You know, for just, for just being like the third day, I think uh, it's you know going super well. I think it's going super well. My job uh, is going well. Uh, we're making a lot of progress in my job. Uh, outsource plug is growing. Like everything's good. I think when you start getting into momentum in one thing, I think a lot of things just around you just start coming together. So, uh, with that being said, thank you guys for following. Thank you guys for watching. This is day three of building a marketing agency with virtual assistants. Stay tuned.